Hey, Fire Fam! What's up? It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. Happy Friday! I am here to do your collective reading for today. It is Friday, August the 26th. This reading will be for today or whenever you guys hear this message. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. It is a collective reading. It is for all zodiac signs. All right. So let's see what's going on with you all. I'm going to start out with a spirit message and then we'll hop into your love reading. I may look at finances and career. Not sure. I'm not going to promise, but I might. All righty. Um, what else was I going to say? That's it. You guys know it's general. It's a collective reading. It's for all the zodiac signs. Only take what resonates. If I do resonate, show your girl some love. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and our follow. And if you guys would love to book a personal reading or a coaching session with me, you guys can go to my website, fireintuition.com. That is the only way you guys can book a personal reading with me, all right? So let's see what's going on, Fire Fam. Let's start out with a spirit message. Let's see. Universe, what message do you have for the collective? All right, so we have number two, and it says attachment. Attachment to desire is the cause of suffering. So this is the truth card, and it says attachment arises when we want something different from what we are experience, experiencing right here, right now. This ever-increasing list of unfulfilled desires causes us to experience discontentment and disconnects us from living simply in the pure joy of the present moment. All right, so this is deep. So a lot of you guys are needing to release attachment. And attachment is causing you guys to suffer. And the reason why it's causing you guys to suffer is because you guys are so attached to the outcome. And you guys want something to go and be your way. And because it is not going or being, uh, not going your way or you're not getting what you want out of it, you're allowing yourself to suffer because you have disconnected yourself from like living, being happy and enjoying life and everything else around you because you are so focused on this attachment. Okay. So that is the card attachment. All right. So a lot of you guys are needing to release attachment. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to put it next to my crystal so you guys can see it. So you guys are definitely needing to release attachment, guys. That is important. Attachment is causing you guys to suffer. All right. All right. I'm back, guys. I'm sorry. We cut off. So let's shuffle up and see what's going on with you guys. Universe and spirit, what messages do you have for the collective for today, Friday, August the 26th? Collective messages for the I'm sorry, messages for the collective for today, August the 26th. feeling defeated or challenged or somebody feeling like this i'm not going to take it if it's meant to come back out it'll come back out but let's see what's going on with the collective today we have justice here it could be a libra you guys are dealing with all right so this can be the truth coming out something being exposed like meaning like you guys are finding out the truth um the justice card can also be good karma things balancing out this could be court issues all right, let's see. We have the Seven of Swords. Oh, yeah, so this is about some type of truth coming out. Somebody has been, like, lying, sneaky. Could be a child, or somebody's lying about a child, but the Six of Cups could be your children or a child. So your kids can just be lying and doing dumb stuff, you know, being mischievous, deceptive, taking things, doing things they're not supposed to do, staying up late, not following the rules, not listening, stuff like that. And you're just like, what happened to you guys? Why aren't you listening? 
it can be that too because we also have the page of swords at the bottom of the deck you guys can have an air sign child or this can be you like just finding certain things out communicating with them what is this about yeah the tower this somebody's about to find out something and go off page of swords to the tower somebody's about to go off someone is getting cussed the out someone is about to Mm -hmm. someone's taking charge like the king of wands somebody's like uh -uh, you're not gonna stress me out so if this is not like a child then this is a relationship all right and you're tired of finding things out you're tired of hearing things from other people and you want to hear it directly from this person the strength card is here could be a leo or um you can be involved with the leo and then we have the ten of pentacles in reverse all right so Somebody does feel taken advantage of, because the Ten of Pentacles in reverse can just, it could be somebody taking taking somebody for granted, using somebody, but how I'm seeing this is like somebody is, is lying, and somebody is like, why do I have to hear this from other people? Like, why are you continuing to lie to me? And I'm holding us down, and I'm believing and trusting in you, and I'm believing the things that you're saying are telling me, okay? So, take it how it will resonate with you. And the strength card is like, you feel like, you're like, I got your back. I'm always there for you. Like, I hold us down. And this is like, you just, I feel like you guys feel some type of way. Especially with that Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So. Let's see what's going on, y'all. Let's see. Let's for the collective. nightmare you guys may feel like like you know this can't be right this is a nightmare this isn't true like why am i finding this out you know like you just might be shocked a situation is about to explode see shit's about to pop off up in flames i told you somebody's getting cussed out or somebody's about to go the fuck off like I, that's all i can say somebody is about to go off like somebody is mad like somebody's like why would you lie to me you know Somebody's like, I why, why would you lie to me? I thought I can trust you. Yep, see, we have don't want to hear it. So I feel like you're like, I don't want to hear it. And we have Diamond Girl, Born to Shine. All right? So I feel like you feel like this is also stopping and blocking what you guys are trying to do or have to do. Whatever this is. Like, you're just like, I got things to do. I got shit to do. And I don't have time for the lies. I don't have time for what's going on. I can't believe I had to hear it from other people. Because like I said, we got this page of swords overall energy. All right, so you might be like, this is a nightmare. Like, I just, like, this can't be true. You know, like, or maybe you just weren't expecting for this to happen. Okay, so like I said, something's about to pop off. Okay, and you just, you don't want to hear it. You're over it. You're just like, mm -mm, done. I got things to do. You're stopping and blocking me from progressing and doing what I need to do. Or some of you guys are putting something on hold that you're trying to get off the ground or do. Or it's just like you're trying to focus, but this situation is throwing you off okay and we have getting played somebody got played so leave. see the manipulation lies controlling pulling the strings somebody got played and we have betrayal deceit backstab so i feel as if like either that's how you feel when it comes to this person or like somebody like they played themselves All right, so we're going to see y'all. I'm going to see if this is going to eventually resonate. I'm going to keep that card there. All right, so let's clarify, y'all. Let's see what's going on. All right, let's see, universe. What messages do you have for the collective for today? So we have Libra and Leo energy so far. Let's see. Why is the Justice card here? 
messages for the collective. Going to the justice card. So somebody's been contemplating, thinking about telling you this, but they decided to hold it back from you. But this has been going on for a long time, or somebody's been just lying for a long time. We have the seven of pentacles and the four of pentacles. So I just feel like whoever this is, they're really trying to keep information from you, or they were trying to keep information from you. And they were debating whether or not they wanted to tell you. Okay, but I feel like I said, I feel like you're going to find out. So somebody has been lying. And see that we have the tower here again. So that's what I'm saying. Something's about to pop off, or someone's going off. Someone's getting cussed out. Yeah, look. And you feel like you can't trust them no more. Are you just upset with them and how they're acting? Like, you're just over it. Okay, you're just like, why did I even reconnect with you? Why are you even in my life? Why am I even talking to you? Like somebody is mad. Okay, so I definitely see that somebody decided to hold on to some type of information. Okay, and they're going to apologize for it with the Knight of Cups. They're going to apologize or it's like. I don't see you cussing them out and then them just like not saying anything and i'm not saying that this person is going to say something back but this is somebody trying to change the situation this is somebody trying to reconcile trying to be sweet trying to win you over trying to be nice with the knight of cups that's what this is like somebody is trying to like you know like just change the situation like not wanting you to be mad at them and like oh like you know i love you kind of thing okay but somebody was debating whether or not they wanted to tell you something and they have been lying for a long time and they've been holding this information back and keeping this from you. That's what this is about. Okay. So let's see why the seven of swords is here. Go into the seven of swords. Why is the seven of swords here? We got the eight of swords universe. The two of swords, they're going to try to act like they don't know what this is about. Or they're going to try to act like they forgot about that. And that happened a long time ago. And they just kept it from you because they didn't feel like you needed to know. Or that it mattered. Okay? But I feel like that's a lie. Because I feel like this has been affecting this person. And I feel like it's been bothering them. And I feel like they have some type of regret or they feel bad about it. Whatever it is, they've been back and forth in their mind about it. Like, should I say something? Should I not? And now all of a sudden they're getting caught up. Or you're going to catch them up or something's coming out, you know? So it's like they can't lie about it no more. Somebody was using somebody, I feel, that King of Pentacles was in reverse. Somebody could have had somebody on the side and was using somebody financially. Or somebody was just taking advantage of somebody. And, yeah, we have the Nine of Pentacles. I'm not sure if it was you guys, but somebody was taking advantage of somebody, using somebody for their finances. We have the Nine of Wands. This person is very defensive and guarded about the situation, but I don't know why. Because it's something that they lied about or got themselves into. But let's see. Four of Wands. It also has to do with a living situation or a marriage or the fact that somebody wanted you to be with them. I'm not sure what that's about. So, yeah, somebody is... Somebody is... Somebody was acting out of character or doing something and it was because you weren't either close, you weren't close by, there's distance or something like that. But it's like this person also doesn't want to lose you. They look at you as the best thing they ever had or they look at you as somebody that they they want to keep. And they're going to tell you like with the sun in reverse that they were depressed and sad, they weren't acting like themselves. They didn't think it would go this far. They weren't trying to do this or be involved. But I definitely see where somebody took advantage of you, somebody. What does this page of swords know? Or what are you finding out? See about a third party. See five of pentacles. Somebody used somebody. Somebody took advantage. It was an unrequited love situation. Like they didn't care for the person at all. And that's what somebody that's what you're finding out about. Or that's what you're gonna hear about. Go on to the Three of Cups reverse. The Emperor. They did tell this person that they were in a relationship. So that doesn't make sense because it's telling me what you're going to find out is that there was a situation where they could, the, there's a third party or they were using somebody, taking advantage of somebody. This emperor has an ace of cups in the 
six of wands. So either the empress told this person like, I'm in, I, I'm in a relationship, I'm in love with somebody and I want to be with them and I don't want to be with you and this, it, this is what it is, whatever comes out of this, comes out of this, meaning like we just mess around, fuck, whatever, do whatever, but it's nothing serious. Or it's like this emperor is going to propose something to you for you to feel as if they are taking things to the next level and that they really do love you and they want to move forward and they just, they just made a mistake and it's not what you think and you're the person that they really want to be with or this is what they're telling somebody but the, in this because this energy seems too positive and i feel like if this is how they really feel then why even have a third party side person using anybody whatever i don't know but that's what this is about that's what the page of swords is here for somebody's going to find out about that it was something that was short term it wasn't something long they could have messed around a couple times Somebody use this person. This person also could be reaching out to you. Only other way I'm seeing this is if the person reached out to you and told you like, oh, this person wants to be with me. They love me. They want to commit to me. They told me that they were going to move forward with me and dump you and not want to be with you. But then even if they did say that to this other person, how they feel towards you guys would be the queen of wands and the four of wands. You will be somebody that they want to actually be with, live with, commit to, have a relationship with. In their eyes, you are the person that they are committed to. But they did whatever they, whatever, whatever you're about to find out is what you, like, you're just, I don't want to hear about it. That's what I'm saying. Something's about to explode. So you're about to go off. And that's why you could be like, oh, this is a nightmare. Like, I can't believe this is true. Like, I can't believe you did this shit. Like, that's how I feel like you're feeling. Okay. But the page of swords comes with the five of pentacles and the three of cups in reverse. So something that they did. Somebody also could have got drunk, wasn't thinking, messed around with somebody or was like getting drunk with somebody, using them, taking advantage, whatever it was, somebody took advantage of somebody. Ten of Pentacles in reverse is telling someone like, we can we can kick it, we can be cool, but I got a relationship where I don't want to be with you, or they're using somebody and getting material things from this person. You know what I'm saying? So it's something like that. But this emperor claims to be in love with you guys, or somebody wants to like commit to you now, or no, I'm serious, it's not like that. I want to be with you. Somebody also could have felt as if like, like I said, there's some distance I'm feeling. Like, I don't see distance cards, but the Knight of Cups can also be a card of traveling. Okay, so somebody added distance. So this is a card of distance. Sorry, going back. So this is a card of distance. And somebody, like, longing for your love or missing you. And you guys only see each other so many times or so often. And it's like, when you're not with them, they're doing things. Or when you're not around them, they did, they did something or got themselves caught up in a situation. Okay? So I'm going to keep this to the side. All right, let's see what else we got. But this is why the Page of Swords is here. This is what came out with the Page of Swords. Actually, let's go into your person's feelings and see how they feel towards you guys. Messages for the collective when it comes to their person and how their person is feeling towards you guys. I'm actually going to pull from my what's really going on for the deck too. So I can get you guys some more messages as to what you guys are going to find out or what happened. When it comes to the collective, how does their person currently feel towards them? How does the collective person feel towards them? We have a mirroring. mirroring. This person is mirroring you in some aspect of life. Hmm. So you guys could just be mirroring each other right now. Let's see. Let's get some more messages. Good catch. Open. Be open to your lover being different than what you're used to so they need to be open with you okay because it says be open but this relationship is different than what they're used to okay and i feel as if you guys are open to them and have accepted them in some type of way and they know it and that's why they're gonna try to like switch things up change the subject or propose something to you or say something like oh i will never do that again you know i really want to be with you we have energy. This person is a whole vibe. So they feel like you're a whole vibe. They also feel like you're their soulmate. It says, yes, this is a soulmate connection. Okay. So maybe this person, I feel like you were open to this. Maybe it was something different. I feel like this person feels like your energy is a vibe. You're a good person. They know you're a good person. They feel like you're their soulmate. Okay. Um, so their feelings and stuff towards you are positive. So I don't see like where there's any negative energy or anything like that. But let's see like what really is going on. I'm going to pull from my what's really going on. Oracle deck with the Swords to get some more messages. 
So let's see. Messages for the collective. What's really going on? Why is this page of swords here? Give me messages for this page of swords with the five of pentacles and the three of cups in reverse. So we have plot twist. So I feel as if, um, I feel like with the plot twist, yeah, they switched up, they changed on this person. They told somebody something and that's not how they really felt. And that could be why they're reaching out to you and saying something or why you're going to find something out. That can be it too, but let's see. Messages for the collective, page of swords. We have situationship. Mm -hmm. They put, yeah, like, so somebody put themselves in a situation. So now it's a situationship. Sending DMs, somebody's gonna get caught, or you're gonna see somebody DM. So somebody was sending, somebody could have been sending DMs to somebody, and that can be also what you're gonna find out. Somebody could be watching somebody's TikTok or going on somebody's TikTok, or you might see something on TikTok. Somebody could have been sneaking out. Okay, so let's see. Separation. So somebody lied and told this person that you guys were in separation and that you guys weren't together. Maybe you guys were in some type of separation because whoever this person is, they're a rebound. And their plan was to ghost this person and just keep it at friends or whatever, or just be friends. Or that's what they're telling this person, like, we can only be friends. So see how we have separation, we have rebound and ghosted. So I'm not sure if you guys were, like, actually in separation as far as, like, separated at the time. Or, like I said, if there's distance between you guys, because I see some type of distance. Okay, whether it be somebody lives at a distance, military, somebody could have been gone, traveling, doing something. Okay, because I don't feel like there's really a separation. I feel like somebody just uh, did some dumb shit, honestly. So, that's what I'm getting with that. So, somebody is going to get caught. You're going to see somebody's DMs. Okay, because it looks like it's going down in the DM. All right? And somebody is about to go off. Or, like I said, somebody is about to just pop off. Okay, so it's definitely something is something is definitely in somebody's DMs or somebody is going to DM you or tell you something. Or like I said, you're just going to see it. But their whole thing was to just ghost this person, not deal with them, and that be that. Like, be done. Okay. Um, self relationship. I'm right by love. Hmm. I do see where they told this person that they were in a relationship, but we have stuck in relationship, and I don't feel like they were stuck. I fight like whoever this is, they're just lying. But now they're going to try to, like, I don't know, they're going to try to butter the situation, okay? And you are not a biscuit, so tell them, like, no, you cannot butter me like a biscuit. Bye. You lied, so, yeah. But, I mean, that's y'all. I'll take them back or fix it or work it out. But I'm just saying, like, they're going to try to definitely butter up the situation. They're going to definitely try to butter you up or change the, change the subject or change the situation because now they didn't got caught. Okay? So now they're getting caught. So let's see. Why is the six of, um, six of cups here? See, look, the devil. So somebody's back to their old ways, habits. Could be a Capricorn. Or you can be a Capricorn. And maybe you kind of fear this is going to happen. Your devil doesn't always have to be um, bad. But whoever, like, so with the three of swords and the devil, there's some type of obsession or some type of attachment here. Or you fear that this is going to happen. And the last thing I feel like you guys wanted was like, you know, some type of heartbreak. I feel like um, some of you guys could have even got introduced to this person through family or friends. But the devil here is like fear. It's like you kind of fear this is going to happen. There, this is also codependency. The devil and the fear of swords. Mm -hmm. And we have the king of pentacles in reverse. For some of you guys, I'm not saying that it was wrong for you guys to accept this person for, you know, for who they are. But I feel like when you guys met this person, they didn't have much to offer. They didn't have much in general. And you kind of seen them as somebody that you weren't sure that you wanted to commit to with the King of Pentacles in reverse. And you knew you had like more than them. You know, like, so I'm not saying it in a way where like you feel like you're better than them. But just keeping it real and being 100, you had a lot more to offer and to give to the relationship than they did. But I feel like you still gave them a chance. You still were being fair. 
and I feel like you still wanted to see where it was going to go. That's why over here, it's saying like you were open to them. You were open to this type of relationship or you were open to seeing that they were different or, you know, just open to the relationship in general. But the King of Pentacles in reverse is a user. It is a manipulator. It is someone that is controlling. It's someone that doesn't have much. It's someone that, you know, is looking for like material gain or wants somebody to take care of them or it's like you're the breadwinner in a relationship and they're not and it's a lot that comes with the king of pentacles in reverse they can even have like issues like with their kids not getting their kids as much maybe lying oh i'm paying child support i'm doing this i'm doing that and they're not even showing up or doing anything for their child but if this is not the case then you are a capricorn or it could be a capricorn and you feel used and taken advantage of and you just like you're heartbroken like you feel some type of way you're like i, I open myself up to you for you to do everything that I didn't want you to do so it's kind of like I'm not saying what you feared came true but with the justice there I definitely feel like it was a lesson it was an eye-opener for some of you guys because I feel like if you sense it or felt it I'm not gonna always say like when we sense or feel things that it's fear but it could have been fear because maybe you've been through this before if not it could be that your intuition was trying to tell you something but the devil you got snatched like you like you pulled yourself in so it was kind of too late and now you have created this codependency or um this like the fear is just there and it just happened to manifest in that way okay but i feel like just like i said from the beginning i thought this person was nice they were nice they were sweet they came off as innocent you know there was a vibe you like them and this is what you're finding out after the fact or this is everything that you're finding out or what has happened or this is what has happened and the strength card is definitely telling me like you have their back you were down for them there definitely is a connection look the love is strong on your end you guys have a lot of love for this person see with the lovers here so there you have a lot of love for this person with the lovers and the strength card and i feel like you guys are willing to do whatever for this person or you guys are willing to do whatever for this person so there definitely is a strong connection you allow this person into your life you see a future with this person or this person is not a part of your world. Like they're a part of your everyday routine. Like you guys call each other, text, see each other, whatever. But this is somebody that is a part of your life. And you deal with them on that level of three major candidates. Like you really love and care about this person. For some of you guys, there is some distance here. There is distance. Okay, so this can be a long distance relationship. And I feel like even before you found this out, for some of you guys with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, you did question, is this person using me? Or just with me for my finances are what like you know like you probably could have felt like they were with you for a reason and it had to do with finances or money for others of you the person that hooked you up or that introduced you to this person you guys may fall out over this situation okay and they're gonna be upset because they feel like the friendship is better than that you know but you're gonna be like no because you hooked me up with this person you told me about this person I wouldn't be in this situation if, if you didn't tell me about them or introduce me yeah, I see four pentacles here. You're going to feel like this person or whoever introduced you was holding back information about this person and could have just told you or could have been honest with you. Three of swords in reverse is forgiveness, though. So maybe you will forgive this person or they want you to forgive them or not take it that way because that was like they, they kind of feel like it's not their fault. You know, like what the person did to you or how the person treated you, they feel like it's not their fault. So let's see, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. For some of you guys, yes, this person was using you and taking advantage of you financially, but it's like they have love for you and now it's more than just that. It's more than just, you know, what they can get out of you or whatever. For others of you, um, they were taking, you know, taking advantage of somebody, was messing around with somebody. Whatever it is, whatever question you ask, Ace of Swords is yes, that is the truth, Two of Pentacles. For others of you, yes, they were juggling. They did have somebody else. Okay, but it looks like you are the person that they want to manifest and be with. They were confused. For others of you, they were talking to multiple people online or they were talking to people online. Like I said, it's going to go down in the DM. You're going to find out what's going on. And somebody was acting single as if they weren't in a relationship, as if you guys didn't have something going on, as if you guys weren't building and growing a relationship. We have the Queen of Pentacles. That's who dedica dedicated, giving to the relationship. Okay, so somebody was acting single. Somebody was acting like they were not in a relationship, like they weren't with somebody. Somebody was definitely juggling, playing around. When you were at a distance or whenever you were away, somebody was just doing, doing something, doing somebody, you know, using somebody, taking advantage of the situation. I also feel like there's an age difference. I feel like either they're a couple years younger than you or you're a couple years younger than them. All right, and I feel like this person just honestly wasn't ready for a serious relationship. 
but told you they wanted a serious relationship and maybe you were saying like no you wanted to take your time and didn't want something as serious okay um but it's like as soon as as soon as they asked or as soon as they told you they wanted that it's like i feel like you became serious with them right away or things changed right away okay we do have the will of fortune reverse so for some of you guys this definitely is a lesson okay this can be a setback or a delay or is it saying like there is something changed in the situation it's not saying that you guys can't still be with this person, but it's saying that something changed. And with the chariot, cancer energy could be a, a cancer. We have Sagittarius. We have Taurus energy here, Virgo, Gemini. Maybe this is you feeling like for the time being, you need to move forward. It's going to take a while for you guys to trust this person again. All right. So some of you guys are asking like, okay, so this is very random. Okay. So this is not going to be for everybody, but some money or some type of uh, jewelry or something of value is missing. Okay. And I feel like you asked them about it. It could have been when they flew in or when they seen you, they know where it's at. They know where it's at. They know where it's at. And they are going to, for some of you guys are going to get it back. I don't know how, so I hope they didn't pawn it or do nothing stupid, but they're going to get it back, though. They're going to get it back, yeah. Hmm. So much going on. Yes. So let's pull some additional love messages, and that will be the reading. Y'all, this is, I don't know what to say. Universe, give me messages for the collective when it comes to this reading. So, so at the bottom of this deck, this is what I had earlier, and I said I'm going to keep this here into the end of the reading. So we have keeping a promise, and you see there's a ring. Remember I said somebody's going to try to propose something to you, right? So it says, coming in after you. Sex, check yourself. Set a new record straight. Keeping you a secret. Well, so somebody was keeping you a secret or keeping somebody a secret, but I'm going to clarify and see what this is about in a minute, but let's pull some love messages and see. I don't feel like somebody was keeping you a secret. I feel like somebody was keeping somebody a secret. Because you're showing up as their main person or the person that they were dealing with the most. Okay? You're not showing up as the secret person. But um, take take it how it resonates with you. You will know where you're at in this reading if it resonates. Like, you will know, like, who you were or if you were the main person or whatever. You will know that. Ghosting. No contact with the no warning. Blocks. And the middle finger is up. It's not worth the energy trying to explain. So, maybe you're just going to just be like, you know what? Fuck you. It's like, don't talk to me. It's not worth explaining. I got the inf I got all the information that I need. So you could be ghosting them and just not talking to them and blocking them because um, you just feel like it's not worth talking about. You feel like you don't want to hear no more. You feel like you don't want to talk to them about, about the situation. We have stalking. I'm always watching you. I have fake social media accounts that I use when I want to be discreet. Sometimes I just watch you for hours. So if you block them, they're going to make a fake profile page. They're going to be stalking you. They're, I thought they've been doing this even before, you know, you're finding this out. So, what flipped over? A fling. That's what flipped over. So, they did have a fling with somebody. And it says, this is only for a short time. So, while it lasts, love me, sex me, and have fun with me. So they were having sex and having fun with somebody and using somebody. There was a fling. This was trying to come out. No second chances. Third, fourth, or fifth. It's over. I've had enough. So over. O-V-A. Not over. It's over. So somebody is just like, it's over and I'm done and I'm motherfucking tired. All right. So let's see. Left on read. So it looks like you guys are leaving this person on read. 
They're trying to reach out to you. We got Bay. Can I take you out? I said I was sorry. You're just going to ignore me. And we have Bia Nosy with the tarot. Yes. Are they cheating? I need answers. Do they care about me? What are their intentions? Okay, so some of you guys are going to the tarot for confirmation. Some of you guys are booking readings. Some of you guys want to know what really went down in the DM, what really happened. Like, you know, so some of you guys can be booking how does he, he or she feel. Is this person cheating? Some of you guys may be readers and you're pulling your own cards and being nosy and just trying to um, figure out what's going on. Okay. And whoever this is, they got big dick energy. Okay. It says, I'm putting, no, I'm sorry. I'm packing and confident with a dash of cockiness because I can be. So whoever this is, I feel like, I feel like you guys feel some type of way, you know, because you, I feel like you know how they are when you guys are together. So I feel like it's just the thought of them being with somebody else and you know what they do to you or what they have done to you. I feel like it's just got you sick to your stomach because you're just like, mm -mm, I know what we do and I know how we get down and I know how you do me. I know how you touch me, lick on me, stick it in me, all that type of stuff. And you're just like, I'd be damned if you had a fling and was doing the same thing to somebody else. So I feel like you just, you just like, maybe you're just disgusted and you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Hopefully they didn't give them, you know, that big, thick energy like that. But it's like, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like some of you guys feel some type of way. As soon as that card came out, it's just like, I don't know. I just felt like that was what I needed to say. Like, you guys really feel some type of way. And they're going to tell you, like, it was just sex. It was nothing else. But it was sex and they used somebody. Okay? They did. They did. They used somebody. All right, so let's look at this uh, keeping a promise card. The magician. So they are going to, they they are, I'm not saying they will. I'm just telling you what the cards are saying right now. Because things can change, right? Because we know tarot is energy. So this person is definitely trying to manifest marriage with you. Like they see you as my they want a marriage. I mean, I said marriage, want a marry. Okay, and that can be why the emperor came out. So with the magician and keeping a promise, they could be telling you like, look, I know I messed up, but I really do want to be with you. I want to marry you one day and stuff like that. But that's how they feel. But then when I see the king of swords reverse and the ace of wands reverse, I don't know. Because I thought they said this to you before and now you feel like they've broken that promise or broken, you know, like you just maybe don't trust their words no more because you're like, you told me this before and you lied and told me that you wouldn't do that again or do that to me. And now you did. So... See how fast the energy just switched up? So, two of wands. Okay, now we're switching up again. So, see, the two of wands isn't telling you, like, they're not going to lie to you no more. They're not going to have sex with nobody else. They're not going to be with nobody else. They're not going to do this to you anymore because they're choosing to be with you. Somebody wants you to be closer to them or move closer to them, move with them. You, they move with you or something like that. Somebody wants to be closer. They, I don't know why, but they feel like if you guys are together every day or if you guys live in the same home or if you were closer to them in general, that they wouldn't do this. Or they feel like they wouldn't have done this. All right? So, you will know if it resonates with you guys. Okay? So, that's what I got for you today, Fire Fam. All right? I love you guys. Stay dope. Send you guys lots of love, light, healing, energy, and abundance. If you guys would love to book, fireintuition.com. That is the only way you guys can book with me. All right? And if you guys haven't checked out my online shop, please do. My tears have healed my heart.com. All right, I love you, Fire Fam. Have an amazing weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next upload. Bye, Liz.